Hi, welcome. My name is B Caldero and I'm here to share with you some important questions to ask before you join a network marketing or MLM company. I have been self-employed since 2004. I left corporate America to start a factory and around 2007, 2008, ring a bell, uh, the economy did a so I outsourced everything. Just to give you a short, quick story about myself, I outsourced everything and then I finally closed the business and sold it in 2014. So since 2014, I've basically been working from home online, basically, you know, selling anything I can, doing anything I can, consulting, you name it, I've done it. So um, if you have any questions for me, just go ahead and message me. You can find all of my contact information beneath this video, or you can leave me a comment on YouTube. I love network marketing. I used to hate it. <laughs> I had sworn it off. I thought it doesn't work. It's a sham. It's a scam. I actually said all of the nasty things that you're going to read online about the various companies that you're that you've been looking into and even the one that you're intending on joining. But the thing is that I realized in 2017 that basically you get out of the business what you put into the business. It's like, what? So once I decided that I was going to work my business just like I was working in corporate America, as if I was accountable to somebody else, I decided to work my business from, you know, like have regular business hours, be organized, keep track of my records, my receipts and everything else. I decided I'm going to give it one more go. And I had, f I found a company that I really, really enjoy and I absolutely love it. I've been with them for two and a half years. If you're interested in finding out what company I'm with, just go ahead and again, private message me on any of the social media platforms that you see listed below. I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will be dropping lots of videos, sharing goodies. I am not a coach. I'm not a coach. I'm not a professional, you know, like I don't know it all and everything else, but I am here to share with you information that I think that you would find useful. Some of it will be useful to you. Some of them you'll be like, eh, thanks, but no thanks. But keep on watching because I will be dropping some valuable insight for you. Basically what I've learned throughout the years. Now let's talk about MLM, network marketing, and the questions you should ask before you join. So what is MLM, network marketing? Are they the same? Yes, they are. Um, is it a pyramid scheme? No, it's not. Uh, well, most companies are not. Uh, most of these companies, basically what they've done is they've eliminated the middleman, okay? So instead of going to a big box store, one that starts with the T, one that starts with the W, you know, the big ones, um, instead of going to the store to buy those products, what they're basically doing is they're, they've contracted with reps, people like you and me, to, um, to disperse the products or to make the products available to people who need them. So um, they've eliminated the middleman, so that means that their costs are usually really, really super good for what you're getting. Instead of paying the big box stores shelf space um, and foot traffic and marketing and all those kinds of costs, what they've decided to do is go ahead and hire a rep, sort of a representative um, sort of you know body that will distribute their products. So it's good for the end user and it's also good for us, the reps, because we get to make a commission. There are two ways to make money with an MLM or network marketing. MLM, by the way, stands for multi-level marketing, okay? Um, there are two ways to make money with the MLM slash network marketing companies. And that is one, you sell the product, you make your cash, you're good. Two, you build a team. Basically, you attract other people like yourself and then you basically build a team so that you all can do the same thing. You rep the product to your specific audience, whatever that may be. It doesn't really matter what company you're trying to join. Um, the questions that I'm going to share with you today are questions that you need to ask the person that you're intending on joining with, okay? Because it applies to virtually any company. So first and foremost, I'm going to assume that you've done a little bit of research on the company that you're trying to join, okay? So you know where the company is located, what they sell, how much the product is, how much the kit is, um, and you know all that stuff, right? I mean, I'm assuming that you know, and so that's basically assuming all of that, let's go ahead to the next step, which is the question that you should be asking yourself. First and foremost, do you like the products? Because if you don't like it, honey, you're not going to have a good time selling it, okay? Because it's like, okay, well, here's this thing. It's supposed to help you. I haven't used it. I don't like it. So, but I'll make money if you buy it, so buy it. That doesn't work. Whose problem does this product solve anyway? Do you know? I mean, I hope you do. I hope you're actually a consumer of those products. Do you? So you've tried it, you really like it, you want to make money by offering it to your friends, family, neighbors, people you don't even know. That's perfect. 
I hope you know how much you have to invest into this business and how long it's going to take you to reap the benefits of your investment, okay? Sometimes it could be immediate, like if you're selling a product that's really super affordable and that people want and they're craving, like my company, um, then you know the, the cash is immediate. And if you're selling a bigger ticket item, and perhaps even it is a renewable, right? So you need your customers need to buy it again and again, like every 30 days, 60 days, 120 days, whatever, then you know exactly how long it's gonna take you to reap the benefits of your investments. So I hope you know that, right? Because we're all smart and we all do our research. Knowing all of this is going to help you kind of lay down the foundation for your growth, okay? Because you need to be able to know how you're gonna grow within this company. So um, yeah, so yeah. Okay, let's go on to the next, even more exciting part. I'm a firm believer in the power of now, okay? Now is all you have. You're watching this video, now is all you have. You don't have the past, you don't yet have tomorrow, so now is all you have. So if you've been thinking about it, you've been dreaming about it, you've been asking yourself questions about it, you've been doing some research on it, girl, jump in, just do it, just do it, okay? Because there will never be a time when all the stars are aligned and all the ducks are in the row and it's gonna be like, kumbaya, kumbaya, the clouds have parted, now it's time for me to join the business. That's not how it works, okay? The thing is that once you have that gut feeling and you're like, let's go, and you have all the information, you have to have all the, that information, right? That information about the investment, the knowledge of the company, etc. Once you have all that, jump in. Go, go do it. One of the most important questions that you're gonna to have to keep reminding yourself of the answer is why you're joining the company. Your why is super, 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 super important. It's gonna be important for you to understand that when you're talking to people about your product. It's gonna be very, very important for you to remember that on the days when you feel like absolute, okay? Because there are some days when you're self-employed that you're going, why am I doing this? I miss the water cooler times. There's nobody to talk to. So you need to kind of remind yourself why you're doing this, why you're so dedicated, right? Why you were so dedicated. And then you woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning and you're like, you know what? This is for the birds. Your why will help to get you back to that point where you actually are focused and determined to succeed in your business. Okay, so now here comes the juicy part, okay? For a network marketing company, um, you're gonna have to find a rep to sign up with, okay? So if you just go onto the corporate website and you're like, I wanna sign up and I'm just gonna pick my zip code 90210 and I'm just gonna pick the first random person to join. I mean, I wouldn't do it, but you know, whatever. I mean, to each their own. But if you're, if you're interested in actually growing your business, you actually need that support and you need to know who you're joining with. The person that you're joining with is actually going to be a huge component to your success because no no man succeeds by himself, right? So you're gonna need that support. You're gonna need that support and you're gonna need kind of like this roadmap that this person has followed in order to get to where they're going, right? Hopefully you're not just joining out of guilt. You're not just joining a friend or a BFF just because she needed some extra cash or she needed to grow her team and you're like, okay, sure, I'll just, I'll throw my hat in. How much is it? 50 bucks? All right, I'll join in. Hopefully that's not the case here. Hopefully you're really committed. You're like, yes, I wanna do it. Yes, yes, yes. Let me find somebody to lock arms with and just kind of like ride that tide to success together, right? It's kind of like surfing the tides, right? So when somebody's approaching me about joining my team, I treat it kind of like an interview, okay? You don't need to be nervous, all right? It's Okay, but basically what you want is kind of like a give and take, right? I'm gonna ask you questions, I want you to ask me questions. And the, the deeper the questions, the better. The better the relationship too, because once you sign up with this person, this person knows, all right, she means business. So the first thing you wanna know from this person is, you know, like how long have you been with the company? If the person's been with the company for like a week, um, I mean, there are some exceptions, okay? So nothing I'm saying today is like a cover-all, you know, generalization applies to everybody, all right? There are some cases where somebody just signed up with a company and they're already just kind of like, woo, because, you know, they've brought their previous teams and they have a huge network and everything else. I mean, those things do happen, but it's rare. So you wanna know how, how long this person's been with the company, like how much do they know? How much time have they invested in growing their business? You want somebody with a solid background, okay? Don't let the time matter so much as the attitude, okay? I have been with this company like a month and a half and you know, like I joined after I talked to so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so is on my team and blah, blah, blah. I mean, you just, you, you'll know, you'll know. You'll get the vibe, you'll know. Ask, how big is your team, okay? 
the number, again, the number on the team doesn't really matter, but it's the whole attitude, right? So if this person has been with the company for a while and they have established a certain amount of people, you know, joining them and everything else because they're attractive, right? So people are gravitating to this person because they, they just feel that this person has so much to offer, then that's like awesome. But if this person is like, you know, well, I've been with the company five years and I haven't signed up yet, but you'll be my first one. Run away, like seriously, run away. You also want to know what the team dynamics are, okay? Assuming that your upline already has a team, which would be great. If it do if she doesn't or he doesn't, that's okay, but you kind of need to get the vibe down, right? But, you know, you want to know what the team dynamics are. So, like, you know, what's the team support like? How close is the team? Do you guys have a team chat? Do you do Zoom calls? Do you do trainings? Who can I contact if you're not available? You want to know that there's, like, their support, your upline support, the backup support, the backup of the backup, the backup of the, the backup, because things change, you know, people move around, they, you know, life happens, right? One of my biggest pet peeves is when somebody says, I am with company XYZ and I will be for there forever, because it's never gonna change, you're never gonna get me to join another company, honey, child, please, how old are you? Do you not realize that things do change? Life happens, people move on, Things change. The only constant is change, right? So you need to know, you yourself, for you, right, um, that you, you're you going to have the support, right? So if that person moves on, gets abducted um, by aliens, um, or decides that, you know, this is no longer the forever company, then you need to know yourself, who is my support? So you need to know these things, okay? So ask, what is your team dynamic? what's going on? Like, who's my support team? Ask this person, how long did it take you to reap the benefits of your investment? Okay, so depending on what you're selling, you want to be able to get some money back. You're actually in this business to make money. You're not in this business to make good old buddy, go old pal, right? So you're in this business to make money. And so you want to know, like, how long did it take you before you could actually take money back out of the business? You want her to or him to answer that question because you want to know kind of like you know what's the roadmap you're setting up for me here now comes the doozy okay you need to know what your goals are all right my goal is to take my family on an all expenses first class trip around the world and there are 26,000 of us you need to know what your what your goals are okay what your goal is you need to share with your upline, your potential upline, okay? Because your potential upline needs to say to you, okay, honey, you know what? If you want that to happen, it's not gonna happen by next month, but you know, if you, you do X, Y, Z, then we can help you get there by next December, for example, okay? So you want somebody who can actually discuss your goals and get the fact that your goals are not his or her goals, all right? It doesn't matter what your goals are to, to them. All that matters is that they will help you achieve your goals. That is the, the number one purpose of an upline. The number one purpose of an upline is for them to help you achieve the, your goals. So I'm assuming that you are picking somebody who is a little bit more advanced than you are as far as the business is concerned, and they can kind of like show you the roadmap on how to get to your goal. Your goal does not equal their goals. It doesn't matter what their goals are, okay? What matters are your goals and how they will help you achieve your goal. Your goal should matter to them like it's like a pot of gold at their doorstep because your goal is going to help them determine what kind of path to put you on and how far to push you in order for you to achieve the goal that you want. Doesn't matter what the company goals are, doesn't matter what the team's goals are, what matters are your goals, okay? This is really, really super, super, super important. Everybody who approaches me to join my team, I ask them first and foremost, what are your goals? Some people, they join for the discount, okay? They're like, yes, I'm here to get the product at a discount. So sell me the product wholesale, I'm just gonna fill my coffers with that product because that's what I want. That's okay. Some people are like, yo, what you have, I want and I want bigger. I'm like, yes, girlfriend, okay? So let's go ahead and establish what your goals are and how you're gonna get there. It does not matter what your, what your upline's goals are. They can push you to the point of stepping out of your comfort zone only to be able to get to your goal. It doesn't matter. Again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the team's goals are because if you're in it for the discount, you're in it to slay and just kind of like make a name for yourself all over the world, it doesn't really matter what her goals are. What, her, what your goal is, is what you should be working on and that's what that person should be helping you achieve. Am I clear? I hope I'm clear.
If I'm not clear, comment down below. Your upline is basically kind of like your cheerleader, right? Those are your, that's your team, right? And you're going to do the same thing for your team. Yes, you know, the team has goals. And yes, all of those who can participate should absolutely, definitely participate. If your company has events, please, please, please go to the events. That's another question that you can ask, you know, like, I mean, have you gone to events? Um, you know, what do you think? And if they didn't go to events and there were events, I want to reconsider because somebody who is in the business who cannot afford to go to, to events or doesn't make the time to go to events because there are virtual events, there are in-person events, there are events that are close by their events, there, there, there are meetups, for example, of like-minded people, same company. They get together to kind of like problem solve and everything else and roo roo rah rah each other, right? If they haven't been to any events, I would question this person's um, dedication to growing their business. And actually, I would question their ability to help you. I hope that you really got some value out of this video. I mean, I hope that this helps you. I hope that you took notes and that you came up with questions that you can even add to my list. Please, please, please do some research on the company prior to hand. Do not join a company just because. Don't join out of peer pressure. Don't join out of desperation. Just make, just still yourself, calm yourself, okay? And decide what it is that you want to get out of this company, how you're gonna help others right? And how you're going to work your business. Decide what it is. Decide what it is that's your comfort zone and also decide what it is that you want. So between your comfort zone and what you want, there is a slight amount of discomfort that's going to equal to growth. Your upline should be able to get you there, okay? They should be able to push you. You're like, I, I don't want to go to the event. Uh, you know, it's too far. Uh, the event's at 9 p.m. My bedtime's 6 30, whatever. She's going to push you and be like, look, y'all, you know, just, you know, like get up and, and go. That's kind of like a pushing outside of your comfort zone, okay? They can't force you to do anything. This is your business. You can do whatever it is you want. But if you want to get out of your business, what you put in it and even more, then you need somebody who's going to be your champion, your, your cheerleader. You're kind of like your, your brillo pad, right? Iron sharpens iron. That's biblical. Iron sharpens iron, right? So you need somebody who's going to sharpen your skills, hone your skills so that you can be even better. And as an aside, there are no glass ceilings in, in MLM or network marketing, right? So just because your upline reached this level doesn't mean that you can't reach that level. I mean, or beyond, okay? There's no stopping you. There are no limits to what you can do. All that matters is what's in here, okay? All that matters is what's in here. And also, on a slightly different, well, actually a different sort of uh, scale is who you're joined with. Who are you surrounding yourself with? Surround yourself with people who want what you want, who are who have big dreams like you do, or, or small dreams like you do. It doesn't matter. Surround yourself with like-minded people, but also surround yourself with people who think a little bit bigger than you, because that's going to be so, so, so rewarding. Did you give me a thumbs up? Did you subscribe to my channel? Hmm? I'm gonna be dropping more videos. I'm going to be dropping more videos. I have a lot to share. I have a lot to share. And some of it's going to be company specific and some, some of it's going to be non-company specific. So go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Reach me on any of the social media platforms that are listed below. I appreciate your feedback. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. God bless you. Keep you. And I hope that whatever company you decide to join, you experience so much success that you come back and you say, hey, your video helped me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.